After watching the latest video on Microsoft 365 Copilot, I feel fairly certain there's going to be a massive shakeup in the consulting world. And even outside of consulting roles, I think there's other roles that are at risk of uh, going extinct or being drastically reduced in companies uh, due to the features and capabilities that are coming out with Microsoft 365 Copilot. I'm not going to walk through this whole video, but there were certain points that I wanted to pause and talk a little bit about. So in this first chapter, they're talking about BizChat and Copilot pages. And here they're showing that you can basically pass in a query to Copilot. Uh, Copilot will search the web and pull uh, data related to your query and then kind of summarize it and also link to the sources that it found on the internet. And then they're highlighting that you can take those results that uh, Copilot produces and then just copy them into a working document that you can collaborate with other coworkers in. I thought this was cool, but I didn't really feel like this was the bread and butter feature uh, in the video. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's more use cases that I'm not really thinking of. Uh, but uh, oh, and also you can pull data from like internal documentation, right? If you have a Word document stored in OneDrive or something like that, you can reference that. So I guess it is a little more expanded. Uh, again, I I wasn't really focused as much on this feature as I was on the Copilot integration into the Microsoft 365 apps. So I'm going to skip ahead here to uh, Copilot in Excel. Say you want to understand revenue trends. First step, importing all your data. You bring together data on product sales, pricing, and customer feedback, drawing from Salesforce, SAP, and Dynamics. Now you have a workbook with all the raw data you need in one place, and you can use Copilot to shape and analyze the numbers. Let's start by figuring out which category of your business is driving the most revenue. You know how to calculate that, but this sheet has three years of sales data, so while it's a routine task, this much data can be unwieldy. You ask Copilot to quickly calculate monthly revenue by product. It knows exactly how to do that and which data to reference across tabs. Copilot creates a plan for how to run those numbers, executes that plan showing its work as it goes, and prompts you to ask questions or iterate on a solution it reached. It looks great, so you're ready to add that column to your spreadsheet. Now, a new request has come in, and you need to understand how each product category is performing, and ensure you're selling at least $100,000 of product in each category per month. Let's start by comparing sales by category. You ask Copilot to create a simple bar chart so you can quickly see which product categories are selling best. And with conditional formatting, it highlights the product lines that aren't meeting the 100K minimum threshold, so you know where to focus. Now that we know which products aren't selling as well, let's dig a little deeper and see what we can learn from customer feedback. Copilot in Excel can now reason over text like this raw customer data. Copilot analyzes all the customer feedback from the past quarter and surfaces the top three concerns. It looks like charging speed might be an emerging issue, so let's ask Copilot to highlight customer reviews that mention charging speed. Now, with the help of Copilot, you've taken a complex, disparate data set and quickly analyze it, giving you a full picture of your revenue trends that you can bring. This is where I think Copilot gets really powerful, is when it's integrated into uh, the apps, in particular Excel and PowerPoint, which you'll see the PowerPoint integration a little bit later on. But when I see it working like this with natural language queries, there's so such a large percentage of day-to-day -day operations in 9 to 5 work that are just regular questions being asked like this by middle managers asking, you know, juniors and regular analysts, the worker bees, right, to answer these questions using the data that's in Excel spreadsheets. And it's scary to me to see how quickly Copilot works, especially when you compare it to how long it might take, you know, your typical nine to five uh, office worker to complete the same query. I mean, maybe if they prioritize it, they could probably complete it in like five or 10 minutes, depending on how uh, efficient they are at Excel. But a lot of times, you know, people have meetings and uh, if it doesn't have to be done right now, it'll be done in an hour or two hours or maybe this afternoon. Uh, and you compare that with the speed and the access that you have to those, to that data, to that information, and you can, how easily you can produce that information using Copilot, uh, it just feels like it makes a lot of those roles vulnerable. But it doesn't even stop here. I'll skip ahead a little bit. And they actually introduce democratizing it. Copilot in Excel with Python. So now Copilot can produce Python uh, code that will analyze the data or do whatever, you know, uh, perform transformations on the data in your uh, Excel spreadsheets. I think it's powerful capabilities all without needing to know how to code. It's like adding a highly skilled data analyst to your team. Take a look. You're working on your company's annual revenue forecast, planning for the next fiscal year. This can be a time intensive task, but now Copilot can write and interpret Python code, making your job a whole lot easier. 
In just a couple of clicks, Copilot does an advanced analysis, reasoning over three years of historical sales data. Just like an analyst would, Copilot opens up a new workspace where you can experiment to get the insights you're looking for, all without altering your original data. It shows a preview of what it's reasoning over, creates a plan to analyze it in a way that is immediately useful, and executes it by running and writing Python code, giving you a quick picture of your numbers. Now you're ready to iterate on Copilot's work, so let's ask it to forecast your annual revenue for the next two years. Copilot repeats the pattern, creating a plan for how to tackle the task, writing and running Python code, and prompting you to iterate and ask questions about its work. If you want to make any edits to the Python code itself, you can do so directly in the workbook. This is the power of bringing Python directly into the Excel grid. Let's take it a step further. You want to understand which customers are prioritized to close gaps in your revenue goal. So you go back to your original customer data and ask Copilot to use Python to rank customers based on upsell opportunity. As Copilot gets to work, it jumps back to your analysis workspace. It prioritizes the most helpful metrics and provides a preview of the data it will use. So yeah, as I was saying before, expanding outside of consulting roles, you look at data analyst roles also at risk. You may still need a data analyst, a data analyst, in order to interpret the results, in order to look and verify the code that it's producing. But the number of data analysts that you need greatly reduces when you have like these kinds of integrations. Now, one thing I'll say about working with Copilot and ChatGPT, when you're producing code like this, if you want to make changes, like let's say it produces something and you want it to iterate on that thing, uh, it seems to like lose the memory of the original request. It doesn't maintain that context. And so sometimes like when it iterates on something, you lose information from the original request and it changes it in ways that you don't want to. So maybe this isn't as powerful as, you know, how they're kind of demonstrating it here, uh, where like, as long as you accept whatever it gives you, then okay, it's amazing. But if you want to make any changes to what it produces, any results, it's not possible to like iterate and be smart and maintain context while it's iterating on uh, additional requests to transform the data. And that's basically why you would have at least one data analyst on the team to make additional changes and continue to massage the data the way that you need it in a very customized manner. Meanwhile, the rest of the data analyst team has been uh, already laid off. Okay, so I'm going to skip ahead to Copilot and PowerPoint. Retail customer. You ask Copilot to create a compelling pitch deck in your company template that shows how your product will attract shoppers and keep them in the store longer. Now, with Copilot and PowerPoint's new narrative builder, you are in creative control. It starts with a draft outline, where you can reorder the flow, delete topics you don't want, or add new ones, and ensure you've got a solid outline before creating a presentation. Let's add a section on our key value props tailored to customer insights. And another section with customer testimonials. Within seconds, you have a content outline and you're ready to start on your presentation. Copilot makes a plan for creating the slides and executes it, crafting the titles and draft copy, pulling in images from your corporate library, and applying your company's PowerPoint template so the presentation is on brand. Now you're ready to iterate with Copilot as your partner. It looks like this slide could use an image. You tell Copilot what you're looking for, and within seconds, it provides several options from your company's approved image library. Copilot can also provide AI generated images using Designer and Dolly 3. Now that you've selected a photo, PowerPoint gives you several slide design options aligned to your company brand guidelines to choose from. You can keep iterating, but let's see what Copilot has helped you build so far. It added speaker notes to every slide, built slide transitions, and added animations, giving you a professional looking presentation that's on brand. With Copilot as your design, writing, and editing partner, you can focus on nailing your pitch. I love that line that she says with Copilot designing your presentation, you can focus on nailing your pitch. This whole video, they're pretending to talk to you and me, the regular nine to five or the worker bee, but that's not who they're talking to in this video. They're talking to C-level executives in this video. What they're saying is with Copilot, you can make a handful of workers at your company hyperproductive. And then the rest you can lay off. And with all the cost savings from those layoffs, you can actually afford to purchase and maintain a subscription to Copilot in Microsoft 365. Don't waste your company's hard earned cash on employees. Just give it to Microsoft. Microsoft Teams normalized a whole new pattern for meetings, where some of the most animated productive conversation happens in the chat with everyone adding ideas to the mix. Copilot and Teams can now reason over both the meeting transcript and the meeting chat to give you a complete picture of what was discussed. Let me show you how. You meet as a team to discuss the customer's RFP. As the meeting wraps, you think you might have missed some important questions in the chat. Now, Copilot and Teams captures this valuable, high bandwidth conversation. Let's ask Copilot about any questions you may have missed. It quickly scans what was said and what was in the chat, looks for questions, and checks if any were left unanswered. Now you have a list of the open questions so you can follow up and close the loop with the team. With Copilot, every part of the meeting is captured, so no question, idea, or contribution is left behind. OneDrive is a rich repository of content, and with Copilot and OneDrive, find I will say I really like the ability to summarize key points from meetings because uh, it's always a pain taking meeting notes. She goes on to talk about Copilot in OneDrive, where you can compare documents uh, in OneDrive using Copilot. Uh, but the one that I wanted to look at uh, was here. So they're talking about uh, drafting a response to an RFP. And 
a uh, copilot essentially drafts an entire uh, RFP and it uses uh, resources from OneDrive as well. It like references data from resources uh, and files in OneDrive and other uh, other places. Here's the approved format previously used. You want a great meeting on the customer's needs, so you ask Copilot to pull in details from the meeting. Copilot's ability to ground responses in the right content is key to getting high quality results. Copilot gets to work, creating a plan to craft the document. Within seconds, Copilot executes its plan, automatically attaches a security label to match the source material, and creates your first draft, a task that may have otherwise taken hours to complete. Now it's time to iterate on Copilot's work. It looks like it didn't include updated pricing for this customer. Let's ask it to reference an email and pull in the discount. You want to strengthen the proposal, adding more information on why your products are the best choice and more details on your certifications and standards. Let's put this in a table and add why these certificates are important to retailers. There you go. Now, working with Copilot and Word as a partner, you have a polished RFP response in your standard format with the most relevant and up-to-date information. I feel like what they just showed is a core functionality of a lot of consulting work. You know, I, I've worked with uh, Deloitte consultants before uh, and other consultants, and a lot of what they're doing is just drafting responses to RFPs, and they're doing business development, essentially. And I think the timing of these Copilot integrations is really interesting because it aligns with you know, some consulting firms downsizing, in particular uh, PwC, you saw that they were letting go um, some of their workforce, which they haven't done in a really long time. And I strongly feel it's because of the advances of AI and the integration of AI into apps like Microsoft 365. All right, let's skip ahead here. Let me see what else. Here they're highlighting that you can respond to emails with uh, Copilot responses, which definitely is useful. I don't know how useful it is because anytime I try and use like ChatGPT to draft uh, some sort of response, uh, whether it be a review or a message, a letter, it doesn't feel like it gets the right tone or it doesn't sound like me talking. Uh, so I don't know how performant this, uh, you know, reply with Copilot is. Maybe it learns how you, uh, how you talk when you actually do write and draft uh, your own messages. And then it adapts that. I'm not really sure. That would be kind of cool. And then the final nail in the coffin is uh, the introduction of Copilot agents, which can be used, as he says here, to automate uh, repetitive tasks. Repetitive tasks to sophisticated agents that are fully autonomous and can orchestrate other agents. Copilot agents do that and more. They bring the power of agents to you right in the flow of your work. They work for you in the background, are fully managed and orchestrated by Copilot, and are incredibly easy to create. Copilot agents build capacity, enabling you to scale your team like never before. Take a look. We'll start in BizChat, where we can open a simple agent for field service technician. Say you're on site and you get an error code you've never seen before. You built a field service agent for exactly this. It has access to all your product knowledge and can give you step-by-step -step instructions in real time. Now, watch how simple it is for anyone to create the agent we just saw and add it to Copilot. You fire up Agent Builder and describe what you want the agent to do. It needs to be able to reason over your product catalog and repair tickets to provide step-by-step -step troubleshooting instructions. Let's connect it to SharePoint so it has access to all the knowledge it needs. It's built in seconds, so you can start using it immediately or edit and configure it to fit your needs. You can expand its knowledge base by tapping into resources. So this feels very similar to the custom GPTs that. Uh... OpenAI uh, introduced with ChatGPT, where you could create like some custom uh, GPT yourself. However, the agents have the ability to take actions. And I think you see that later in the video here. And in just a few seconds, you're ready to update the agent and bring it back to the team chat where you're working on solving the customer's issue. Let's ask the agent to order the party recommended. Your agent is on it, asking you to confirm before moving forward. Once you give it the go-ahead, it's done. Wow. So yeah, I think that last feature is really powerful and it puts a lot of office jobs at risk that are essentially performing uh, repetitive tasks that require manual data entry and stuff like that. And you wouldn't be eliminating an entire department. You would keep the department, but it would be like one or two people as opposed to 30 people performing you know, the same task because all they would be doing is just verifying that Copilot is uh, taking the correct actions. So anyway, those are my Doomer thoughts on the latest uh, wave of Copilot integrations, and we're essentially cooked. I can tell there's a lot of companies just chomping at the bit to you know, reduce their workforce costs as much as possible and replace their workforce with AI. But the question becomes, when you've eliminated your workforce and you're selling a product, who's going to be buying the product if they don't have a job? especially when you're not investing in upskilling people to perform higher level operations that an AI can't currently do. Don't get me wrong, I think this technology is incredible and I'm excited about it, but what I'm not excited about and what I am concerned about is the glee that companies have about reducing their costs after integrating 
AI into their business or AI into their product. When they're talking about cost savings, they're actually talking about getting rid of a percentage of their workforce as much as possible to reduce their overhead in their business. They're framing the conversation like, oh, we're going to make you, the worker, so much more productive, you'll have time to do other things and focus on more important work, but that's not true. They're not talking to you. They're talking to the CEOs of companies. Anyway, that's really all I've got to say, and I'll be uh, keeping a close eye on additional updates about Copilot and how businesses are using Copilot uh, as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider throwing a like on it and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.